Well, as we're sitting here waiting for these mini species to come up, what are all the species that you can get out of here? We've caught plenty of bonita, blackfin, yellowfin, feline snapper. The other thing we catch a bunch of out here are wahoo. Uh, we probably won't catch one this way. Um, they'll bite right through the fluorocarbon. Yeah. Uh, but we do a lot of trolling for them with uh, with wire leaders and, and mirror lures and islanders uh, with ballyhoo. Cool. Man. Um, every now and then some uh, braid marauders, and they are they run big out here. Our average wahoo is about 60 pounds this time of year. Nice. So, something I've never got was a big wahoo. Yeah. We are tuna fishing now, not wahoo fishing. So we'll. Uh, We'll see how the tide turns here. Oh! What do you think that is? It's not a mingo, unless he just got eaten by a mako. We had a little lull there and, you know, got our chum slick really beat back up and lo and behold, here we go again. Blair's got a mystery fish on a UFO. <laughs> it's fighting in circles. I mean, it, it could be a tuna, could be an AJ, could be a big shark. We do, do know for sure it's a fish. Yeah, it is a fish. It's a fish. It's fighting weird. It ain't fighting like a tuna. You know what a lot of people know uh, or that don't know is y'all have here? What's that? Swordfish. Oh yeah. Swordfish. We've got we've got did, some swordfish I did here. A show, I didn't do a show. We did it. We did a swordfish day. What was that six months ago? It was in uh, September. September. If you want to come catch swordfish, give that one a call. What did we get, a seven for 10 that night seven by midnight? Ten. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And then I got a left leader. Oh. oh, that's a good tuna. What is it? Real good tuna. Look at that tuna, my friend. Oh, that's, that's a wahoo. 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 Oh, steady, steady, steady. Guys, this is a rarity. A wahoo on fluorocarbon. You got to keep him coming, though. Wahoo have scissor teeth, and that's a good 60 pound wahoo there. Why they call them Wahoo? Woo! Wahoo! Woo! Baby! Look, can you see those teeth? You see how vicious those are? Unbelievable. You gotta be real careful when you bring them into the boat. You don't wanna slap it down on anybody's foot or anything like take that. Take it off right there instantly. Oh, yeah. See if we can get this puppy up and get a good shot of him for everybody out there in TV land. I'll tell you what, you might wanna get a uh, shot of where that hook is and all of that real quick. That is hooked absolutely perfectly. That's one of the reasons why we use circle hooks out here. You would never have landed this fish on a J hook. Yeah, what he was talking about catching it on mono. We're actually rigged for tuna right now with this rig right here with mono, and there's not even a nick on it. And what that circle hook does, just like you saw, right in the corner of the mouth where it stays away from them teeth. And those teeth are something else, I tell you. Oh, uh, those those are scissor teeth. They close on top of each other like a pair of scissors. Yeah. And we're, we're actually using a 65 pound Seagor Premier right there. It's really abrasion resistant. It, You've got to have the best kind of tackle and expect that kind of result. You just don't catch many uh, wahoo on uh, fluoro or, uh, or mono. I'm going to take this gaff out. Just uh, watch his teeth. Go ahead. Got him. And how big is he, you think? He is 65. Might be bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, he might be. Look, look how fat he is and how that's, long. For folks, that's my first wahoo, really. My, my, my last wahoo was about this big. I caught him on a little trout rod. We call those wee-hoo. 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 But this one here is a wahoo, baby. That's one of the best eaten fish in the world. In Hawaii, it's actually called ono, which translates directly into delicious. Well, let's get this guy up. I want to show him off to everybody out there. Look at that mouth on this sucker. Ugh. Come on over and have a seat on here. Hello, baby. What about push me in the water, though? They're the baddest mackerel that swims. They are the baddest mackerel that swims. And the best eating mackerel that swims. Absolutely. It's unbelievable. Fastest burst speed of any fish in the Gulf. Well, Devlin, once again, hey, you guys ever want to come do a great charter, probably the best fishing trip of your life, come to Venice, Louisiana, and get a hold of Real Peace Charters right here. They're right out of Cypress Cove Marina. Great place to stay right there. And you just you jump down out of your room, jump in the boat, and go fishing and catch a bunch of big fish like this. Hey, y'all want to do it? Go right to the website. You can do it. Till next week, that's about it. Right here from Venice, Louisiana. We'll see you. Thanks again, Blair. Appreciate I it, enjoyed that it. That was awesome. But as Devlin said, you can sure tell the difference between these guys and a bonita. Thanks, that could do some damage. Oh.
I was wondering what that was. I was going, man, I know I don't. It's your depth finder saying, tuna, tuna. 